culinary challenge is heating up here in Toronto. I'm Jesse Palmer, and this is Food Truck Face Off. Over the next hour, four teams will compete for the ultimate prize, their very own customized food truck for one year. But before any of our teams can proceed, we'll first have to impress an expert panel of judges that will select only two teams to battle it out. Here's the thing, each of our teams may have a talent for cooking, but no one has ever set foot in a food truck before. All they have is this wild dream of owning one. We're stirring the pot. And we're stirring up trouble. Go wild, eat here, or go home. And that dream will become a reality for the team that makes the most money over two frenetic days of selling. So which of our dreamers has what it takes? Buckle up, because you're about to find out. This is Food Truck Face Off. Our four teams are about to pitch their food truck concepts and their food to our talented panel of judges. Atlanta radio personality and TV host, he knows how to dish on food, Steak Shapiro. Top TV judge and owner of Chicago's renowned restaurant, The Boarding House, Alpana Singh. Deli King and Toronto's food truck pioneer, Zane Kaplansky. Our judges will be looking for unique flavors, viable concepts, and solid presentations. So, let's meet the teams. First up, Eddie and Tanya. We know we have what it takes to run a food truck business. We have a desire to feed the people. And we're gonna show them that soup rocks. Hi, I'm Eddie. And I'm Tanya. And we're Stirring the pot. pot. We're creating wholesome, delicious soups with pizzazz. <laughs> talk about food? Yes, please. <laughs> our first dish is our Moroccan stew. More Moroccan stew. <laughs> Served in a bread bowl with chickpeas, sweet potatoes. Our second dish is our roasted butternut squash and carrot soup. We roast our butternut squash and carrot together, puree it. Is this a soup truck? This is a soup truck. Eddie, it's July. Yeah? It's Toronto. It is. Do I want soup? Sure you do. In the case of the more rockin' stew, I like the chunkiness of the carrots. I like the chickpeas. But the Moroccan flavors itself, it's just not working for me. I think it needs a little bit more spice to it, a little more warmth to it. I want to feel it in the back of my throat. But I really did enjoy the butternut squash. I love the texture, I love the flavor. But unfortunately, as it sat there, it really soaked up all the bread, and it's now like butternut squash bread pudding in a bowl. There is no doubt in my mind that we are going to the next round. Give a big beefy welcome to Donovan and Tyler. We're about to go out. It's a lot of anxiety, but it's good anxiety. Creating food and then handing it to people, that's the most rewarding thing a cook could ever ask for, I'd say. I'm Tyler. And I'm Donovan. And we're D&T Beefcakes. Beefcakes. <laughs> we're serving savory beef dishes, but presented like desserts. Our first dish up for you is our signature beef cakes. And it's piped with a ginger sweet potato up top, a little bit of avocado icing, garnished with some crispy onions. Second dish, we're serving you a chili beef trifle. It's composed in layers of cilantro, buttered rice, savory chili beef that we put together with a whole bunch of Asian sauces. And following that would be a simple onion and tomato salad. OK, why would I want my meat to be like dessert? <laughs> it's something new, really. It's, yeah, it's, it's something interesting. Different. The curiosity seen. would bring people in, and then fun. the good food would bring them back. So where have you worked before? Well, we both had culinary experience, and we both are trained chefs. I gotta say, I'm digging the trifle. Yeah. Like, literally digging it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every layer gets a new flavor. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. But every layer is also a different layer of work. How long is it going to take you to put one of these together? 40 seconds, I'd 40 say. 40 seconds? Wow. I'd say 30 seconds. All our mise en place is ready to go in steam tables. Just ice cream scoops, boom, boom, boom. It's going to hurt for you to hear this, but the rice is undercooked. Do you think you're up to this? We've Absolutely. worked a lot together in some pretty high intense situations, and I'm here to Absolutely. sell our food to the world. The judges liked what we had. They loved our food, it seemed. Bold flavors, beautiful dishes. Yeah. Can't go wrong. Welcome, Tulio and Felipe. This is really important for us. We've been working to get here for a long time. We definitely want to bring some flavors from Brazil to Toronto. 
<laughs> I am Felipe. And I'm Tulio. And we are... <laughs> Made in Brazil. <laughs> Beautiful. And we are serving contemporary Brazilian street food. Our first dish is the hidden cod pie, and it's made with yuca puree on top, and on the base we have a creamy salted cod called bacalhau. Our second dish is the Brazilian poutine. It's a version of the traditional Canadian dish. We have a base of fried yuca topped with pulled pork, gravy, and cheese curds. The yuca on your Brazilian poutine is cooked perfectly, yes. and it's a very starchy vegetable, which lends itself well to frying. That's right in my wheelhouse there, brother. <laughs> I mean, that is that is a nice little lunch. Let's yeah. talk about the hidden cod pie. This is tasty. This is kind of amazing, actually. But my major complaint about the bacalhau part, the salt cod part, is it's a little watery. I want a little bit more richness and indulgence. Cool. How much do you want to charge for this dish? We're going to charge $8 for the cod pie. I'm sure you could come much closer to $10. Your pricing is a little bit low. Why is this a dream? We're gonna be part of this. Bringing different flavors like this, we are gonna have our spot on the sun, and we're gonna make it. I think the pitch went great, way better than we expected, and um, we're gonna win this. <laughs> Bringing their best game, Callum and Vanessa. Deer, turkey, duck, rabbit, squirrel. It's our dream to own a food truck, just so we can show the world our cuisine and open everyone's eyes to game meat. Hi, I'm Callum. And I'm Vanessa. And we're Urban, Urban Game. Game. We're serving up contemporary game-inspired dishes. So what the lovely Vanessa is handing out to you right now is a duck confit slider served on an Asian steamed bun with a slaw dressed in rice wine vinaigrette. The second dish is a braised borbelli poutine. It's on secret spice fries with a maple espagnole, blue cheese, and scallions. Pretty fancy food there, Callum. Thank you very much. I've been classically trained, but uh, I'm shooting for the more rustic approach nowadays. It's funny, when I picture urban game, I think of pigeons. You know, Callum, I've eaten a lot of poutine in my time, obviously, but this poutine has got to be the best poutine I've ever had. But this is an underwhelming portion for sure. It feels like you pulled back on the poutine a little bit. Okay. Don't be afraid to load up. People don't expect to go to a food truck and come away feeling dainty, you know? Yeah. Tell me about your dreams and what inspires you. My father was an outdoorsman, and over the years, it's slowly been growing and growing within me. Basically doing it for Vanessa and myself uh, to start our lives together. Let's talk about the duck confit slider. I love the concept of it. I really do. I mean, what's better than duck cooked in its own fat? The complexity and the depth of flavor works together. It's classic comfort food. But it's very salty. Oh, no, my apologies. This is pretty elevated cuisine. I don't know if Torontonians are ready for this. I've always said that there wasn't enough game out there and it's got such a bad rap that if someone could only give it a facelift, it's going to inspire you know, the world. Toronto's yeah. so ready yeah. for this. Yeah, Toronto's absolutely ready for the game They've experience. been waiting for this. <laughs> All right, judges, it's now time for you to choose the two teams that will face off in the streets of Toronto. Stir in the pot, discuss. Were they for real? If the soups are delicious, that concept and those personalities actually will work. The butternut squash carrot soup is absolutely delicious. Yep. Now, the more rockin' stew, yeah. I'm not feeling it. The soup concept is a strong concept. Right. It's not a total write-off. But is the soup good enough? Let's talk about D and T beefcakes. <laughs> the beefcakes themselves. I mean, who doesn't love meatloaf with sweet potato and avocado and the crispy onions? They did have that whole thing about well, we want our food to look like desserts. You know what I like to look like desserts? Desserts. I was skeptical, but yeah. in this case, it worked because the food was extremely pretty to look at and the flavors are solid. Let's discuss Made in Brazil. They're a really fun team. I love to see the idea of a Brazilian food truck on the streets of Toronto. That hidden cod pie, it was watery. Don't be too hard on these guys. The poutine was taking it to another level. Spectacular. I mean, the yuca fries were cooked perfectly. The pulled pork was seasoned well. Solid dish. Should we move on to Urban Game? I like the game food and the hunting and the outdoorsman. The patina is good. That duck confit, the level of salt on that was beyond the Richter scale. But the wild boar poutine really came together beautifully for me. All right, teams. Our judges have tasted your food and they've assessed your presentations. But only two of you will get to move on and compete for your dream to own your very own food truck. So judges, who's staying and playing?
who's going home. Judges, who's staying and playing? And who's going home? This team came out with a strong, unique concept that delivered on flavors. The first team that we have chosen to move forward is... D&T Beefcakes. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Oh. We're ready for it. We've come this far that nothing can stop us now. Absolutely. 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 Thank you very much. So judges, who's the second team to move on and compete in the streets of Toronto? This was a very difficult decision. Toronto is hungry for a truck like this to hit the streets. Made in Brazil. We're gonna win it. We're gonna nail this. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Urban game, stirring the pot. Thank you so much for your pitches. Unfortunately, you won't be moving on. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks so much. With our teams chosen, it's now time for them to face off. Made in Brazil. D&T Beefcakes. You guys ready for this? Yeah. yeah! All right, well, I've got something that I know you're both going to want to see. Your trucks! Yeah! yeah. Well, here they are. Whoa! Nice. Nice. The truck is just better than I ever expected. It's just like Brazilian Carnival. Man. Bro, oh, look my look God! At it's look amazing. at this thing. The truck comes around the corner and it looks great. It's way better than we ever could have pictured in our heads. Go on, check them out. Yeah. 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 Check it out. Wow. Woo. Yeah, look at this. Whoa. This is amazing. This is amazing. This look is at so it. It's as sweet as looking meat. Woo. So we have this area for prep and we have this for the fryer. I love this truck. Woo. Tyler's like family. We started working at a restaurant together, and immediately we, we, we knew that we were going to be friends. I noticed when I saw this guy cook that I could cook with him for sure for a long time. He was clean and efficient, and he just had a talent and a flair for food that I hadn't seen previously. We're both trained chefs. We definitely have the skills to make this a success, and we always have each other's backs, inside or outside of the truck. Yeah, man. The inspiration of my food comes from my family. My inspiration for cooking is my city, the city of Toronto. There's few places out of this multicultural, and I like taking bits and pieces from all the different cuisines and combining them into something unique in my own. I lost my mother at a pretty young age, and cooking brought my father and I together. We would cook together all the time. That's when I discovered that food brings people together. Winning this truck would mean everything. My one biggest challenge was to have my parents proud of me. Growing up, I said I would do something. It didn't work out. I said it again, it didn't work out. At some point in time, as a parent, you're going to give up. And there was that point. And then I decided to go, you know what, I'm going to be a chef. Hoping that now that they'd be proud, because this is what I've been waiting for. A moment where I've shown them that, hey, look, it didn't turn out that bad. The space, it's competition it. it's time. Real. It's go time. It feels real. It is real. <laughs> We're feels... here. Yeah, believe it. This is our dream, man. Finally. <laughs> I learned to cook with my mom back in Brazil, and since I'm a kid, she's showing me a little bit of how to become a cook. Myself and Felipe are like pretty much brothers nowadays. We met on English school, we became friends right away, and after that, we went to the culinary school as well. I think we both worked in like seven different restaurants at this point. We've been going through so much stuff on this past seven years in Canada. I know I'm like pretty good in English, I'm applying for my citizenship, and like, it's just like, it's a brand new life. I'm just possible to do something like this because I have a guy like this beside me. Just make a 
good team. We are putting our heart on this and that's why we want this food truck. That's why it's a dream. It's not just our dream. It's the dream of our families, having our own business and being able to support ourselves in Canada. And this truck is going to give us that. We're just going to have to kill them with this. Jimmy in Brazil has got nothing on us. You've got two big days of selling ahead of you. And here's how this is going to work. Whoever makes the most money will win their truck. Woo! All right. Yeah. But we're not going to reveal your total earnings until the two sell days are over. Okay. For your first sell day, we're heading downtown to the Church Wellesley Village. It's an entertainment strip full of bars, restaurants, and cafes that's been serving its community for over 20 years. Wow. Now, you're going to be competing head to head, yeah. truck to truck. Right. You guys ready for that? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Woo. Ready. All right. Well, you probably noticed you're missing something for today's lunch sale. Food. So you're going to have 30 minutes to buy all of your ingredients from the store behind you. Now, that's not a lot of time. So put your heads together and come up with a strategy. Think carefully about what you've got to buy. Today, you're serving salted cod pie. Mashed yuca on top, cheese and herbs. Put in the yuca, we take fried yuca, cheese curds, lots of gravy, and pulled pork shoulder. And our side dish is grilled corn. Today, we'll be serving our signature dish, the beef cake. We pipe on top a sweet potato puree. And on top of that, we put an avocado icing. We'll also be serving a, a beef trifle, which is layers of rice with beef and some tomato and onion slaw. The side we're serving is root veg crisps. We're finishing off with a watermelonade. Shopping starts now! Let's go, let's go. Got to find those sweet potatoes, Donnie. Yeah. There they are, there they are. Yeah. Corn here, a lot. That's it. Soy sauce, salt, pepper. Where is this stuff? Spices. OK, good. Coriander, salt. Tulio, you know where's the cod, man? Cod, cod. Salmon, trout, halibut. I'm looking for the salted cod. I can see salmon, tilapia, trout, no salted cod here. You're going to have to find a substitution, maybe shrimp. Where's the shrimp? Found the shrimp, finally. I'm a coming, Donnie. Woo! Good one. All right, teams, this is it. Just one minute left. Hurry up. One minute. Where's garlic and ginger? Tyler, why do you keep dropping stuff? Tyler, <laughs> what's going on, on here? They broke the watermelon. We're running around. Things are falling off the car. Watermelon? That sucks. Five, four, four stop. three, two, one. Watch out. That was a nice pass. That's a touchdown. And it was a good throw. It was a good catch. <laughs> Thanks. This is not good. We missed lots of ingredients. Salted cod, cheese curds, chicken stock, spices. What did we get into, man? I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. So we missed garlic. Yeah, I think yeah. that's one of the main things we only yeah, missed. We, missed we couldn't yeah. get red onions or garlic or ginger. No fresh herbs. We missed out on a lot of stuff for the beefcake. Desperate times call for desperate measures. This is not good. Not good. Ridiculous. All right, guys, you've now got to cash out, load up your trucks, and head off to your first cell location, Toronto's Church Wellesley Village. Here's the watermelon you broke. Oh, thank you. There yeah, you go. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't have cheese curds, but we have lots of mozzarella. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Woohoo! Woohoo! This is our dream truck, Donnie. We're living, living the dream, truck, buddy. I can't believe we don't have this salted cod. And now we just have shrimp. We're going to, unfortunately, we're going to have to use some shortcuts. But that's the way, man, it is. I can't believe that garlic, man. You know what? Can't beat yourself yeah, up, man. Don't beat ourselves We're up. Do a it job. sucks, but. Oh my god, man. I can't see DT anymore. I think they're there already. It's not far now, buddy. All right. Going in. This is beautiful. Look at this place. You ready, buddy? Yeah, Let's do man. This. Ah. Woo! Woo! So right now I'm peeling the sweet potatoes for our beefcake. This is one of the things we want to get on right away because it takes so long. Then we can worry about making little sauces and salads and stuff. We're ready to cook. It's go time. That's right. Wheels on wheels. So the water, Donnie. We got a little issue with the water here, buddy. What's wrong? Uh, it's not coming out of the tap. Wow. That's not good. We don't have water. We can't wash dishes. We can't cook things. We can't cook rice. Nothing.
spill the water, Donnie. We got a little issue with the water here, buddy. Well, the tap is sputtering, and I don't know what's going on. The level of the water was too low, so the hose wasn't immersed. So all I did is give it some leeway. Now the hose is in. You're good to go. Thank you. We adjust the hose a little bit, try to submerge it deeper in the water. Water comes back. It was a... We have water. <laughs> Thankfully. Oh, my god. I can't believe they're here already. Yeah. Sucks. That sucks, man. Let's go, man. They're, they're prepping already. Let's do it. Cakes made in Brazil. Woo! Come on out. Welcome to your first day of selling. Now, this is how this is all going to go down. Whoever makes the most money over the next two days will win their food truck. Yeah. But we're not going to reveal your totals until both sell days are over. Today, you've got two hours. Sell as much food, make as much money as you can. But today's not just about making money. Today is also about the judges. Right, right. They're going to be here during lunch to assess your food, your presentation, and your customer service. Three key ingredients to any successful food truck business. Now, based on the judges' evaluations, one team will be receiving a special advantage okay. for tomorrow's final sell day. You guys ready to do this? Yeah! yeah. Well, get back on your trucks. Woo, Finish woo. up your prep in a half hour. You're open for business. And I'm doing some onions for the beefcakes. It's a change of flavor profile because we missed out on those ingredients like garlic and ginger. I realize how different the two flavor profiles are. I mean, we originally started with the ginger garlic base, now we're going with the tomato onion base. Today we'll be serving our signature dish, the beefcake. For the beefcake, we're going to be starting by cooking off the onions and tomatoes together with some cumin and coriander, adding that to the beef. Then I'm going to pipe on our sweet potato icing. After that, I'm going to drizzle on our avocado crema. We'll be serving our chili beef trifle. It consists of Asian-inspired chili beef. It is also accompanied with a scallion butter rice and uh, tomato onion salad. The rice is perfect this time, definitely not undercooked. We, we made, made sure, sure of that. that. It's nice and fluffy all the way through. For our root crisps, we are going to fry taro root and our carrots and toss them in a lime zest salt. In the pitch, the judge mentioned that we should charge more for our dishes, so we're going to be charging. $10 for our poutine, the yuca, and $10 for our shrimp pie. We didn't get the salted cod, so today we're gonna be doing a shrimp pie set. This dish is about a bed of shrimp and covered with a mashed yuca and cheese. In Canada, we use potatoes. In Brazil, we use yuca. It's all about yuca. And at the end, we torch it. The poutine de yuca is made of fried yuca topped with pulled pork shoulder. We couldn't get the curds. We are using the mozzarella. We're going to dice a little bit. And we're going to try to make it up for like the flavor. When you think of poutine, you think about cheese curds, not some mozzarella. We didn't get the chicken stock, and that's a key ingredient for our gravy. So I'm worried about the, the gravy. Our poutine dish is not looking so hot. We're also going to be serving grilled corn and top it with the compound butter. The village is getting crowded. I see hungry customers. You've got only five minutes left. Our gravy is in a bad situation. We have no chicken stock for the gravy of the poutine, so we're going to have to use the pork juice for that and the vegetables flavor. Get it there. Put this in. Now we are back on the game, guys. All right, teams. Your two-hour lunch sell starts now. <laughs> Come on, Felipe. Let's go. Let's go. I get the beef cakes. Same here. Two of them. Yes, yes please. Two orders of beef cakes. Coming up two right beef now. Beef cakes. Would you like the watermelon as well? Two of them. Yes. Yeah. So the ten each. Thank you very much. Thank you. Shrimp pie. Shrimp pie. One more pie, Tulio. Shrimp pies all day. That's it. Let's go, man. I really like the grilled cheese on top. It adds something more special to it. Two beef trifles? Three. three beef trifles? Three, had a boy. This sauce is very good. It has a nice flavor to it. It's quite nice. Two beef cakes. Perfect. Enjoy your day, guys. The beef is really nice and tender. It's really tasty. Beef cake. Uh, beef cake and a watermelon egg? You got it. Six now. Beef cakes are going like crazy, man. Oh, man. We weren't expecting quite this big hit. Running out of everything. It's kind of a worst case scenario at this point. Everybody's ordering the thing that we have the least of. That's five beefcakes. We just didn't prep enough. I can do four and then. We're all sold out, man. 
sold out of beefcakes. One pie and two poutines here. I've never had yucca before. You know, it's really good. Thank you. One pie. Two pies, please. Two pies. Shrimp pie, three. 86 pie. 86 pie? Yeah. We can't serve shrimp pie. Oh my god, man. Wow. Really? Yeah, man. We have no mass yucca. This is a nightmare. Uh, we have no shrimp pies now, so just poutine, OK? We're midway through the lunch service, and the judges have arrived to assess the teams. They'll taste their food, assess presentation, and customer service. Hey, Dave. Hey, 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 hey. What's up, what's up, Dave? How's it going, DT? Going great. So we're deep in the weeds, and guess who shows up? Zane. What's going on? We've been uh, sort of getting hit on the beefcakes harder than we thought we were going to be. So you didn't prep enough. We thought we prepped enough, and we didn't think we'd get this hit this hard this fast. Boys, this is day one this of Food Truck University. What are we going to do? We have to think of something quick. Whoa, boys. What is happening? We are, we're a little behind in one of our dishes. We ran out already. You guys are both trained chefs. I mean, you would be more prepared for this, I would think. Yes. What a disaster. You got to crank something out and get things cooking. This is crunch time. Two teams are competing truck to truck in downtown Toronto. Whoever makes the most money over two days of selling will win the keys to their dream, their very own food truck. We're in the middle of a busy lunch service, and both teams have run out of one of their signature dishes. You don't have the pie anymore, so what? do you want to have a version of the pie but made with the poutine? Oh my god, that sounds good. Yeah. It's so frustrating to see our customers asking for a dish that we don't have. At least you have a great idea. Let's make a poutine with shrimp. Two shrimp poutine for you guys, our new dish. That's really good. It's creamy. I love the sauce on it. Wow. This good. is great, buddy. It's good. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. More money coming to us. You're going to get on the beef. Deal? Yes. We have more beef. We just have to season it and get it on the flat top going so Tyler catches up with making more beef cakes. Sorry, guys. Thanks for your patience. But the teams have reserved one last serving of one dish for the judges. We've got some fierce competitors here. This is the signature beefcake dish from DT Beefcakes. That is really salty. No, that's bad. The texture on the beef is completely different. It used to be much softer. The trifle was six layers. They, they toned it down to five. I taste a, a real Asian yeah. flavor. What is that? I think it's like hoisin. Hoisin. I love my hoisin. The rice is cooked perfectly and the trifle effect soaks up all of the sauces from the beef. Visually, yeah. it's attractive. This is their root vegetable chips with salt and lime. And again, I think they went kind of heavy on the salt. It was really salty. Yeah. It was really salty. Like, what does that show you about a, a chef when they're going heavy they're on the salt? They're not tasting their own food. So here we have Made in Brazil's shrimp pie. They didn't get their cod during the shopping trip, and they used shrimp instead. This is delicious. The yuca is nice and creamy. It's like luxurious mashed potatoes. If you're going to put a beautiful dish like this, present it nicely. Give it, a, give it a little. Coming out of a food truck. Yeah, well, you can come out of a food truck looking nice. So now we have the Brazilian poutine. I like the combination. We got some pork. The yuca is fried perfectly. It's crispy, it's crunchy. They know how to do yuca. You is the only good thing about that right. dish. I mean, there's no cheese curds, there's no gravy. There's no sloppiness. And the corn, five bucks. Five bucks. Five, five bucks. bucks. You That's want him crazy. to take it off the cob for you? <laughs> it better be the best corn you ever put in your mouth for five bucks. Good. Competition's about making money. If they can sell people on a $5 upcharge, they may be able to be just about even, despite they had a slight catastrophe happen on their first day. Even though they ran out of the shrimp pie, and don't forget D&T ran out of the beefcake. It's a tough call. Teams, get those last orders in. You guys are awesome, awesome, awesome people. I apologize for making you wait that long. Thank you. I got the next ones coming up. Teams, your time is up. 
All right, you've handed over your cash boxes, and I know you're both very eager to find out how much money is inside them, but you're gonna have to wait one more day before we can tell you what your totals are. In the meantime, our judges can tell you what they thought about your food, your presentation, and your customer service. So here's the advantage that's at stake for the winner today. Someone's food truck is going to be receiving a VIP eating area for tomorrow's final sell day. Sound good? Uh, yeah. That sounds fantastic. Let's hear from our judges. So Alpina, talk to us about taste. D&T beef cakes. You got to watch it with the salt. Yeah. But you did cook the rice perfectly, so that's great. Thanks. Made in Brazil. You guys are the kings when it comes to yuca, whether it's fried or mashed. And I got to say, good job that you forgot the cod, because the shrimp was amazing. Taste goes to you guys. Thank you. All right, Zane, what did you think about today's presentation? Made in Brazil, if you're going to serve me poutine, I want to see the gravy, I want to see the cheese curds. Otherwise, don't call it poutine. DT beef cakes, I thought that the beef chili trifle was really clever in a clear cup. You can see all the layers. I also like the two beef cakes. They look clever, they looked interesting. So, presentation goes to DT beef cakes. Yeah! All right, steak, talk to us about customer service. Who won the day? Made in Brazil runs out of the shrimp pie, and you think it's disaster strikes. But then DT beef cakes, you run out of your signature dish, the beef cakes. So who improvised better? The shrimp poutine was outstanding. Maybe even better than the shrimp pie. Customer service goes to Made in Brazil. Awesome, thank you. It's all right, buddy. Congratulations, Made in Brazil. That means you've won the advantage. Now, you both probably think today was pretty tough. Well, it's gonna get a lot harder tomorrow. You're heading outside the city to the town of Ancaster. And they host a very popular food truck roundup. You're going to be going up against other food trucks that have way more experience than you do. But that's not all. Oh, man. For tomorrow's sell period, you've got to come up with an entirely new daily special to add to your menu. We have so many issues today. Imagine with one extra dish. That's going to be hell. I hope we can pull this off. All right, you've got less than 24 hours to your final sell period. So get back on those trucks. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow's going to be different. We're going to take the judge's advice. We made a mistake. We were now out of food. We are buying more stuff, and we're not going to allow this to happen. For tomorrow, we can watch our salt levels and then just prep a bunch more. <laughs> Our teams have restocked, picked up ingredients for their new dish, and are heading out to their second cell location, Ancaster Village. So we're going to beef up the prep, right? Beef up the prep by at least, well, double for some things. Families are going to love our VIP area. People are going to come to our truck to hang out in our VIP area. It's the party truck. Woo -woo. Oh, I'm so excited to get this beefcake out the way we actually envisioned it. Man. We've got the garlic back. Oh, look at DNT. Those guys are ahead of us. First Please. pick of the spot, buddy. Spot. Can you believe this? That's <laughs> got to be Two days in a row. That's the advantage. Hey, Beefcakes is here. Come and get your Beefcakes. Cool. We're good. Today, our new daily special is the cheesesteak roll. Well, the concept behind that is that it's supposed to look like a cannoli. To make the cheesesteak roll, we went with the Mexican-based flavor spices, so some cumin, some garlic, black beans, along with some shredded mozzarella cheese. We put that into an egg roll wrapper. We fry it, and we drizzle a avocado creme on top. Oh, man, the NT made it first again. We just got here regarding the second place. That's not good. We don't have enough time to prep. We just got here regarding the second place. That's not good. For our daily special, we're going to be serving Brazilian sausage. A Brazilian sausage is made of a great quality pork, salt, pepper, fennel seeds, and it's smoked. Then put on French baguettes, grainy mustard aioli, arugula, and topped with chimichurri. 
Chimichurri is a mix of herbs made kind of a vinaigrette with vinegar, lemon juice, and tomatoes. And we have the chicken stock today, Tulio. Our gravy is gonna be awesome. And our poutine is gonna have lots of gravy and lots of cheese curds. These cheese curds are gonna be so good. Made in Brazil, how we doing? We're doing good. What about your VIP area outside? You got the high tables, huge advantage. You guys gotta be happy about that. I know, we're the only one with tables outside. We're gonna rock it. We have our VIP eating area. So nice. Garlic and ginger, it's huge. It I mean, is huge. Came prepared this time, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, we did. Today, we've got the ingredients we want. We got garlic, we got ginger. How's that mix, man? I need to put it in my beef. I need to carefully salt it. Also, as part of the prep strategy, we don't want to oversalt the beef. I think I may have pressed iron patties. We're not selling out today, buddy. They're flavorful. I like that. We thought about it a lot and decided to be competitive. Day two, we were going to raise our prices. Attention, teams! Your two-hour dinner sell begins now! <laughs> What can I get for you? Cheesecake and watermelon lemonade. Cheesecake and watermelon lemonade, please. Okay. Day two, I'm better prepped and organized. We're finally ready to show what DT really has to offer. Beef cakes are up. Thank you. Look at the tables. Everybody's using that. Big plus for us. We have our VIP eating area. People are loving it. They're hanging around, they're chilling. And the sausage? You're welcome. Super fresh. Cilantro. Lime. Oh, this is so good. Is it bad if I have two? Can I get who's next? We get a cheesesteak roll yeah. and a watermelon aid. Hi, can I get a cheesesteak roll? You can get a cheesesteak roll? Yeah, absolutely. You drop one for me, cheesesteak roll. Man, do they ever like those deep fried cheesesteak rolls. They run out like hotcakes. It felt like 15 minutes went by. We're already sold out of our daily special. The avocado sauce, really nice. And the meat, it's got some nice spices on it. It's really good. We're halfway through dinner here at Ancaster's Food Truck Meetup, and both teams are busy on their toes. Even though this face-off is all about the sales, our judges are here to see if the teams have improved over yesterday. Look at that smile. <laughs> I know. It's a great day. Look at this. Yeah. 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 Go yeah. Go yeah. Yeah. You're not running out of not pie. Tonight. Not, not tonight. tonight. How many servings you got? Over 100. Yeah. All right, baby. Look at this. We're halfway through. Where's your special? So that of our special already. We talked about prep yesterday, right? Yes. Right. So we didn't prep enough? Is that what happened? And it figures, you know, we've got enough beefcakes, but we run out of our daily special. What a day for Made in Brazil. Look at the presentation. Poutine. Enough. Curds. Cheese curds. <laughs> Gravy and poutine. I think they listened a lot to what you guys told them, which is how to improve these dishes. Yes. The Brazilian sausage is quite flavorful. Lots of garlic. Oh. It's seasoned well, has oh, a nice boy. snap to it. That's a juicy sausage. The beefcake guys brought their A-game. They brought their energy. What were they going to come with with the beefcake itself? The flavors are all back. The ginger, spices. It's like the pitch day. The root crisps are much better today. They fixed the salt issue. It's not nearly as salty. And this is the special. Yeah, it's good looking. Look at the cheese. Really, it's a Philly cheesesteak and an egg roll. Yeah. Two things that people love. They ran out of it, though, right? They did. They didn't make enough. Here's your change and your food, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Yes, one more poutine. All right, teams, time is up. Windows are closed. Oh, man. Time to hand over your cash boxes. Totals from your two days of selling will now be added. Whoever made the most will win this face-off and the keys to their dream. I think we sold enough food to win the food truck. We did it, man. We both did well as a team. I want this truck more than anything else right now. It's been everything I've been working towards for the last big chunk of my life. What's driving me to get this dream of a food truck is I want to build something for my family. We are putting our heart on this, and that's why we want this food truck. That's why it's a dream. It's not just our dream. It's the dream of our families. And we're going to take this truck home.
The second and final day of selling is over. Time now to reveal a winner. It's not an easy business. It's harder than I was imagining. The food truck is almost in our hands. I know we put in our heart and soul into this stuff. It's still a positive experience both ways, which way you look at it. I'm really proud of ourselves, to be honest. D&T Beefcakes, made in Brazil. You both gave it your all here. But only one of you can win the keys to your very own food truck. But before we announce a winner, let's first hear from our judges. Made in Brazil, Tulio and Felipe, you guys had to deal with the hazards of a food truck up close and personal. 86 pie. Really? But what was so great to see is how you improvised. That stuff was phenomenal. D and T beefcakes, Donovan and Tyler. Your prep issues slowed you down. So you didn't prep enough. We didn't think we'd get this hit this hard this fast. But your hard work more than made up for it. I was really proud of what you guys brought on day two. But in the end, guys, this competition is about who made the most money over the last two days. So it's time now to reveal your totals. Made in Brazil, on day one, your total was $557. D&T Beefcakes, on day one, your total was $408. Made in Brazil, after two days of selling, your final total was $1,576. D&T Beefcakes, after two days of selling, your final total was $1,000. You've just won the keys to your very own customized food truck. D&T ah. Beefcakes, Donovan and Tyler, you can teach a lot of us about what great teamwork looks like. I have no doubt you're going to be a big success in the food truck world and beyond. D&T Beefcakes, you're ambitious, you're passionate, you're driven. Please keep at it. You really, really impressed us. Thank you. Thank you. You guys gave an incredible effort. You should both be very, very proud. We wish you both the best of luck. This hasn't phased us one bit. This is still our dream. We're not just going to give up because this didn't happen. I couldn't have done this with anybody else. Yeah, That's man. honest, man. Proud of you, my friend. It's honest. Way to go, guys. Congratulations, you did it. We won! This food truck is definitely going to be the cherry on top of the cake after those seven years of hard work. Boys, your dream has just become reality. Important question now, who's driving the truck? I'm taking it. <laughs> Off you guys go, man. Good luck. Oh, my God! Oh, yeah! Our truck. Amazing, man. That's great, man. Wish we should, like, cross Canada and US, take it all the way south to Brazil. That would be an amazing trip, maybe for another TV show. I, I don't know. know. <laughs> I can't believe we got it. Many Brazil! Whoa!